Okay. Is it right here? Me. The bag is beautiful. Please start putting the flowers. Don't do any more to the dress because they only have two hours to sew all these flowers. We need a lot of sewing hands now. I'm calling yeah. two more people upstairs. Hey, would you like that? <laughs> she wanted like a true liberty and so I decided that a true to life actual copy um, 3D printer would be the best. Um, I painted it copper and then I copper leafed it and Swarovski they provided um, just beautiful crystals. So I wanted everybody to be the fan a fantasy. Because to, for me, camp is clin d'oeil. The word clin d'oeil in French means wink. For me, it's a wink to go as the Statue of Liberty. As I said, as my mother told me, I was her torch of freedom. Uh, Talita, you know, she loves flowers and she just launched her first collection. I thought, maybe you should go as Eve in the Garden of Eden. And then Camilla, this influencer, we thought, okay, you know, do you want to go as me? And she said, yes. Yeah. And then Adwa, she's a panther. She is a panther, so she's going as a panther. Getting ready for the Met Gala. Two hours. The TVF just launched two weeks ago, and the theme was really inspired by flowers, so we wanted to continue that inspiration and do something with flowers for my dress. So what's more over the top than wearing nothing at all? So I'm going to wear like a sheer kind of naked dress and then cover myself with flowers. So it's gonna be pretty, but we'll see, because the dress is still getting made, and it is in an hour. So I'm nervous, but the team's great, and they've been designing all night long, fixing it, so I think it's gonna end up turning out how we envisioned it. So I feel like my first, first memories was right when I moved to the US, um, when I was 14 and went to high school and then I remember like girls talking about Matt, which is crazy. You should have been more familiar with us. I think in Brazil I just wanted to be free and like, what I was so young. I mean, I remember in the 80s I wore, I wore wheat in my hair. I went like a, a goddess. When it was the English one, I wore an American uh, um, Union Jack flag. Last year I wore a huge dress, so I couldn't even go to the bathroom the whole night because like I couldn't fit in the toilet stall. Like literally, there was just no way for me to go to the bathroom. So that was that was fun, and I'm really excited for this year because the things camp and everyone's going to be so over the top. So it's going to be very fun people watching. When I think of Matt, this was recent, but when I think of Matt today, I don't know why, like I love Rihanna and she's always so like, she always does something super statement, but I think of Matt and I immediately think of that yellow dress that she wore, the huge like crazy yellow dress that she wore with the huge train. You know, I am the godmother of the Statue of Liberty, the museum that I raised the money for is opening in next week. So I thought I would advertise for it. PVF is the Statue of Liberty because she's opening the Statue of Liberty Museum. So, you know, she thinks she's Wonder Woman, so now she's playing the part. But it looks really good because I just saw the headpiece upstairs. It looks really cool. And you can see on Talita's eye, we've done like a really beautiful pastel pink with a pop of glitter, just to tie in with all the beautiful floral arrangements on the dress. And we're continuing the idea of the dress with the flowers and butterflies, so we're attaching um, some baby's breath to the, to the hair and just kind of giving it like a ethereal feeling. We were discussing about jewelry and I showed Diane some pieces and then she's like, why don't you wear my own jewelry? And then I thought about it, I was like, I would love to have another piece of her with me on that carpet. So yesterday after our last fitting, she was gonna go to her closet and pull out jewelry and I told her, I was like, just pick stuff that's more 70s. And she was like, honey, everything that I own is 70s. <laughs> So we were talking about really like focusing on keeping Camila like true to kind of who Diane 
like what she embodies, which is to me, I think of like Studio 54 Diane. I like see her on a dance floor, her hair is just like moving and it's big and free. Um, so we kind of like did a mixture of, I like to call it like Brazilian 70s disco. For makeup, I wanted to bring the dress onto the face. This is where the pink eye came to be. I really wanted the, the makeup to embody like that 70s yeah. girl. My thing is that once I knew I wanted to be the Statue of Liberty, I had this fabric with my face, huge, which was the cover of Interview magazine. And so then, you know, I thought, wow, I mean, that's truly camp. 